Yo, 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 what is good, people? Welcome back to another episode of the RDC World Dream Chasers career mode on FIFA 23. Today is technically the season finale of season five. We will have one more episode after this one in season five just to wrap everything up, but today is the last episode of gameplay for season five. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. You have came to the channel at a good time because, of course, we are going to start season six very soon. If you are new to the channel, go back and watch the rest of the five seasons before we do start season six um, on friday i want to say is when season six will start so at least you've got some time to go back and get yourselves up to date with everything that's happened so far yeah before we do get into season six we do have some things to finish off though in season five it's still all to play for boys we have two games left on the calendar we play everton in the league and then we play rangers in the europa league final now, checking out the league standings, if you haven't seen this already, we are in second place, just one point ahead of Tottenham. So this final game of the season is going to decide who finishes in second and who finishes in third place. Now, I would like to finish in second over third. I don't even know if you get more money or anything like that, but just in case you do, I just want to try and finish as high up in the league as possible. And to finish second in the Premier League is, you know, that's a, a nice title to take away. Do you know what I mean? So we've guaranteed Champions League football for next season anyway. Um, and if we go ahead and win the Europa League today, that's another guaranteed spot in the Champions League. So no matter what, we will have Champions League football in Season uh, 6. I'm not too sure what I'm going to title this video yet, boys. It depends how the games are going to go. But I've got a feeling that I might hint at something. The return of a certain man, Marcio Barbosa, is back from injury. Fully match fit in his availability there. I cannot wait to see this guy back on the pitch, boys. He lost one overall while he was out injured. Arthur Vilk has stepped up, and spoilers there, he's gone plus six in overall this season. Arthur Vilk up to 88 overall, overtaken Barbosa by two, because of course Barbosa lost one while he was injured. But I'm hoping Barbosa can hit the ground running again, get his overall back up, because this guy is incredible. MB9, our CR7 regen. Now, I did say that I wanted to train him as a left winger, and next season we were going to play a 4 3 3 formation with Barbosa on the left wing. But I went into his positions, boys. And to train him as a left winger, it's going to take 136 weeks, which is like two and a half seasons. So um, I don't know if it's worth doing that. Even just leaving him as that left wing training plan. Like, is that worth doing or, or not? Let me know what you think in the comments. Should we just play him on the left wing anyway? Even though he'll be like, he'll lose rating, won't he, for playing out of position. So let me know what you think we should do there um, with Barbosa. Because like I say, I did want to play him on the wing. Uh, I think Arthur Vilk is definitely more suited to playing down the middle. But, I mean, Barbosa's great down the middle anyway. So, um, yeah, if we train Wilk, it'll actually take quicker. But I don't want to train him as a winger. He's got more pace than Barbosa, but he's dribbling. He just doesn't feel like a winger. You know, he, he doesn't feel like the guy to go down the wings. Definitely a guy to play through the middle. But Barbosa is back. Yeah? Come on, boys. First game of the episode against Everton. Yeah, we need to finish with more points than Tottenham here to finish in second place. Let's get into it. Barbosa might even make an appearance here. But as you've just seen, it's only three days away, the Europa League final. So I'm going to rotate the team to play against Everton. Obviously, we do want to win this game, but we're not too fussed. And I've just noticed Morgan Elliott has lost another overall, boys. He's down to 78. Yeah, he's gone from 81. I'm sure that was his highest down to 78 now. That is so sad to see. We're playing against the five-back formation here against Everton. So we are going to play with the 4-3-3 formation. Uh, but we will rotate, as you will see now. Heavy rotation of the team, as you can see. Etho, Jacobs and Johnson leading the front line. Robin, Juric and Andreas in the midfield with Meyer uh, jumping in over Canales at centre-back. Uh, we're just going to rotate our whole outfield pretty much, apart from obviously the defenders, uh, because we do need to save them for the Europa League final. Now, on the bench, you can see there, Barbosa is back. But he's lacking sharpness, you know, he might make an appearance in this game. I don't want to rush him back too quick into a starting position. You know, we do have Jacobs and Robin in the team who can make uh, an impact. But coming in off the bench at half time, maybe Barbosa, get some like stamina back in those legs, you know, and get his sharpness back up. It'll be nice to see, but I can't believe he's back, boys. I can't wait to hit that first. See, once he gets back on the score sheet, it's going to be fun, boys. Let's get into today's game against Everton. To the side, second place in the league, boys. Here we go. Nice little warm-up game before we get to that final as well. Wouldn't want to go into the Europa League finals, the first game of the day. Because as we've seen in previous episodes, my first game of the day is normally quite rough. Yeah, so at least we get a little warm-up here against the Blues. 
You know one thing I'm looking forward to the most, boys, about the new season is getting a new stadium. Like, I can't wait to upgrade Heaven's Arena and get rid of this stadium because this stadium this season has caused us some trouble with the shadows. Like, even now, look at the shadows in the middle, bro. It's so ugly. And it just, it gets, it's an eyesore, you know? I can't wait to get a new stadium. Upgrade the capacity as well because all the money that we're going to get from the board for the Europa League performance, FA Cup, Capital One Cup. Um, is it called Capital One? I don't even know what it's called anymore. Carabao, there you go. Trying to deliver it accurately. Oof, big save, Kowalczyk. To the keeper under the circumstances. Oh, the keeper needed to do an awful lot better. Big tackle from Joric there. Just notice Everton have the Ketelay out up front. He was a menace when we played against uh, Wolves. He used to play for Wolves. Now he's at Everton. He's like 88 rated up front, uh, the Ketelay. So probably going to be a threat in this game against us now. By the way, boys, like I said, this is going to be the last episode with gameplay in. Tomorrow, well, Wednesday's episode won't have gameplay, but it will be our end of season review. We're going to go over everything um, that we've done this season. We're going to look at the squad reports, see how people have grown, see all the players is on loan see how they've grown i'm excited to see that people like tommy bailey billy cairns we will get them back from loan and it'll be nice to see how high they've gone up in overall uh, we're also going to start season six in that episode so you want to miss uh, you don't want to miss that we'll see our transfer budget and you just can leave your comments on who we should sign and, and all that stuff uh, and also the goal of the season compilation of course so you don't want to miss that because we have scored some belters this season yeah and let's see if jacobs can add to that compilation with a little free kick over the wall into the far corner. What a save that is. Oh. Big head from Mayer. What a save again, lad. Who the hell is this in goal? Mayer, one more time. Another save. Go on, Mayer. Oh, what the fuck, Mayer? He's just blasted it over the bar. Lad, you're two yards out. How's he done that? <laughs> That's like a deflection, it must have. No, Mayer, what the hell, bro? Oh have to take the lead at some point with this sort of domination that's nice play Jacobs Ito on the overlap here is Ito can he play inside to Robin a little nice ball to Robin off the bar no way take one of these chances well they can't dwell on not getting the rub of the here's Jacobs nice skill hard to break down this five back formation you know I struggle with it all the time anyway never mind in the prem remember in the early seasons people who've been here from the start you'll remember in the championship league one league two Five the back formations was our kryptonite, bro. We'd we'd always struggle against a five back. Big save, Kowalczyk. He's so good, man. Oh yeah. Also, in that Wednesday episode, boys, we will announce, uh, or possibly announce, the new captain for season six, because uh, it, it looks like Morgan Elliott is on his way out. Possibly. In fact, he hasn't even announced his retirement yet, and I feel like it would have came already that announcement if he was actually gonna retire. So Morgan Elliott will still be here, but. If he remains in the squad, will be will remain to be seen because, again, he's dropped another overall. I love Morgan Elliott, but it might be time to cut ties. And with that, the attack fizzles out. It's Ben and Johnson. Mina's forward. That's a nice pass. Mina, you've got a man inside. What a pass from Mina to Jacobs, and we've opened the score and on the stroke of half time. Let's go. Yeah, come on. We'll be able to see Tottenham score at half-time here, hopefully. I hope they are playing at the same time as us and we can see what score they're getting on. Because uh, obviously it'll let us know how much we need to do in this game. If we need to go for the win or if a draw is enough. Let's find out. Tottenham are winning 1-0 against Aston Villa. So we do need to win this game, boys, if we want to finish second in the league. I'm going to make a substitution here at a half time, boys, and you'll be delighted to know. Jacobs is going to the right wing. Brennan Johnson is going to come off the pitch. And Marcio Barbosa is going to make an appearance for the first time in nine months, I think. Bro's been away. He's had a baby. He's come back, and now he's ready to play again. Get that match sharpness up. Try and boost his stats again. Come on. Barbosa is back. Let's go, boys. I'm so. Oh, look at him on the pitch there, boys. I'm so excited. MB9. Stretch those legs. Yeah. Robin, here's his first touch on the ball. Barbosa. Wow, he felt foreign then. He, he felt like he's not been here before. Well then, Robin. Let's get it back to him. Barbosa. Little ball into Robin. Oh, we should have played through Ito. Robin's still got it though. I love Robin's hustle. You know, he's always chasing the loose balls down. 
Kate Delare. Hudson O'Doy. Big save, Kowalczyk. That was poor defending from me. We got lucky there to get off with that. Being pressed here. Robin Barbosa. Barbosa's making a run in behind. Can Robin find him over the top? It's a bit too much on it. Can he beat the keeper to him? Barbosa, he's in front of goal. What the hell is that? Hey, it actually feels like he's disconnected or something. <laughs> it feels like I'm not controlling him every time he touches the ball. Maybe that's his sharpness. Uh, maybe that's the effect of zero match sharpness. I don't I don't actually know what that's supposed to feel like, but I've pressed shoot first time there. I tried to chip the keeper and he took three touches before he shot. Like, that was weird, bro. That was he a hell of a ball from Robin as well. Robin has played great this game. There goes Barbosa again. Ah, oh, he's lost it. Yeah, he, he feels... I think that must just be the effect of Matt Sharpness. I didn't realise it actually had an impact. Oh, Inacio's missed it. And it's the equaliser, the Ketelier. Oh, come on. Inacio. I tried to I tried to stick up for him. I tried to join the fan club. He's matched him for pace. That's an easy header back to the keeper. Why has he tried to hit it with his foot? Head it back to the keeper. Keeper picks it up. That's that's a travesty. That is a travesty. Yeah, and we actually need to win this game. So Shelder up's gonna come off for Hashimoto. Lee's coming on left wing. We need to win this game, boys. Forward play. I'm sure we'll see more goals before the end. Robin. Here's Robin into Lee. Lee's first touch. Can he put the ball through to Robin? Yes, he can. At the back post, it's Barbosa! Yes! Marcio Barbosa! He's back from injury. Oh, I pressed the wrong button for the celebration, boys. We can do it anyway. Sue! Let's go! Yeah? Oh, come on. What a header that is. What a pass from Morgan Lee into Robin. And a perfect ball from Robin into Barbosa. What a header in the bottom corner. He's still got it. Barbosa is back. And there's the thumbnail. He's absolutely headbutted Buscagli there. He said, move out the way. Yeah? Come on. Come on. 2 1. Barbosa on the score sheet. You can't. Uh, boys, let me know in the comments again how to do the Ronaldo celebration because I've actually forgot. It's been that long since we played with him. I forgot how to do the Ronaldo celebration. <laughs> Working away, looking for passing lanes. That's a nice play. Inacio, get there. Oh my god, Inacio is so dodgy. I know he's got his fans, but boys, he is dodgy sometimes, yeah? And I hold my hands up, boys. I will admit, my defending sometimes is trash. Yeah, I will be the first to admit that. But sometimes he really does dodgy stuff that isn't on me. And it's actually just on the game. Jacob's going for an ambitious switch there, and he's found it. Morgan Lee, look at that. That's quality from Morgan Lee. Nice play from the lads. Oh, Hashimoto's giving it away now. In transition, Theon to the rescue. Barbosa's asked for the ball to feet. Looking to play through my man. I don't know why our team's so out of shape here. Is Juric well in? Come on, five minutes left, boys. Five minutes left to secure second place in the league. Barbosa's give the ball away. What is everyone doing? Why does Hashimoto bomb forward every attack now as well? Shit, 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 shit. No, 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 no. There's way too many people in the box. Way too many people in the box. Way too many people in the box. Big save, Kowalski. Oh my god, lad. I'm just sitting on the ball now. I'm not even. I'm not even risking it. I'm sitting on the ball now. Oh, oh Theon, come on, boys. We've won. We have won. We finished second in the league, and it was Marcio Barbosa. Who else? Cristiano Ronaldo's regem that scored the goal to secure second place in the league. That is a great storyline right there. You can't write it. You can't script this stuff. That is amazing. That is actually amazing. Wow. Wow. I'm so happy that he's back in the team, you know. Next season's going to be wild. I don't know what to do with him and Vilk, because obviously we can't just drop Vilk because how good he's been, you know. We might have to go to, like... A 4-4-2 again. I did want the 4-3-3, but like, yeah, I don't think the 4-3-3 is going to work, boys, because we can't train Barbosa as a left winger. We'll have to wait and see anyway. Let's just 
Let's advance. Yeah, we've got a big final. Spurs won their game 2-1 against Aston Villa as well. So now we can check the final standings in the league, boys, and confirm. We did finish second place in the league, just one point ahead of Tottenham. We scored 102 goals in the league this season, and Man City still scored more. That is crazy. 102 goals. That is more than, like, the bottom three combined, probably. Well, in fact, it actually is. That's crazy. We scored more goals than the bottom three teams in the league combined. <laughs> like, and we still didn't score the most. Man City, how are we going to stop them next season, boys? I've got no idea. But big form, big win there. Get it into the Europa League final. This is the big one. Theon there on the team of the tournament. So this is the team of the season for the Premier League. Uh, and we do have Simon from Wolves in goal. Theon at left back. Romero, Araujo, and Mina. Uh, we've got two for our oh, two fullbacks in a team of the season. Come on now, yeah. The midfield is Foden and Bellingham from City, plus De Jong from Liverpool. And then the strike force is Sailmakers from Wolves, Haaland from City, and Munoz from Newcastle. The Arthur Vilk disrespect is crazy. And the player of the season's been announced as Man City's Haaland. I'm not having that. I know they won the league and stuff, but Arthur Vilk deserves some respect. He didn't even play the start of the season because of Barbosa, obviously, before he got injured. Um, based on the team's performance in the competition, the club's received additional funds. This has allowed us to re increase our budget uh, for the coming season. And it says prize money, £176 million, But it did that last season and we didn't get that much. We ended up with like £30 mil, So we've still got to wait to advance and see what our actual transfer budget is once we get to the new season. So, like I say, that'll be in the next episode. We've had an email off Barbosa saying, Boss... I just want to say I'm grateful that you kept me in mind even when I was out injured. I'm really glad to be back playing. I'm feeling pretty fit. Definitely ready to play. Hope you're not planning to put someone else in. Barbosa's just came back and he's already demanding his spot back. Yeah, he's already demanding his spot back. I call it how I see it. This ain't what you want. That's what Barbosa just said to Rangers, bro. Yeah. This ain't what you want. I call it how I see it, so. Yeah, you don't want this smoke ranges. Barbosa's like ready to fire. And Vilks has something to say about that. I know Martial Barbosa's fit again, boss, but I hope I've done enough to stay in the side. This is a big moment for me in my career. Wow, that's a dilemma. Hey, I'm at a, I'm at a crossroads here. This is a dilemma, bro. Now, I think um, the, the smart move here is to start Vilk, bring on Barbosa if we need to. If we need that, that you know, second half push or something. Because Vilk has definitely done enough this season in Barbosa's absence to be the guy, to be the starter for this game, definitely. So I don't want to disrespect that. Um, so yeah, let's just get straight to it, man. Let's see how Rangers line up then. They're going with a 4-3-3 formation. Now, this is an interesting one. Do we go? Do we match them with the 4-3-3? Or do we stay with the 4-4-1-1 that has done us so well? I'm doubting my own tactics recently and I don't like it. I've actually set up in the custom tactics though, boys, that we can switch to the 4-3-3 whenever we need to. So we are going to start the game in our classic formation here. The 4-4-1-1. Elliot in centre forward slash Cam. Lost one overall, but he's still Morgan Elliot. Can he lift this trophy? It might be the last time he gets to do so. Oh, boys, let's get to it. Come on. I don't recognize anyone in that Rangers team. In fact, Matondo on the left wing. I know him. Uh, anyone else? Right on the, the right wing. Is that Ian? Maybe. Let's get to the game. <laughs> Two teams ready, they hope, to clear the final hurdle. The routes to this stage have been fascinating, but now it is Europa League final night, and the fans are beginning to pour into the stadium. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. And this is it. The majority of fans are inside the stadium now, and the tension is palpable here ahead of the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is, of course, Stuart Robson. And we're just moments away from kickoff. How's it going to go, Stuart? Well, what a night for these two clubs, Derek. Both will be desperate to win this trophy. You can just sense the tension out there, can't you? I've got a feeling this will be a great game.
So we can check on the lineup today. Well, they're playing with two up front, but they have different roles. The main striker has to use his pace to run behind the defence. The second striker is trying to find pockets of space to receive the ball and get himself turned. It's a good combination, I think. The Dream Chasers line up for one final team photo in Season 5. The final game of the season, boys. All the hard work. Will it pay off? Yeah, let's find out. Rangers. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. It all comes down to this, boys. It all comes down to this. Can we do the double? We won the Capital One Cup. Or the Carabao Cup. I said that twice now. <laughs> oh, let's get straight to it. Let's stop talking and just focus now. Well in Lee. That's an early interception. Showing what we're made of. Ono Masaki. Putting faith into that lad there. Here's Elliot. Oh. Well then, Theon. That's huge. Oi, referee! You see that guy just snapped Theon there? That's not on, man. Who do these guys think they are? Dodgy from Anasio yet again. <laughs> oh, he scares me sometimes, you know, boys, that man. He really does. Here, I say that because it's his long debut. Here's Vilk. Oh no. We've got Mina on the overlap. Mina looking inside. To, oh, oh no, had a great run there. There's so much space. Rangers really dominated possession so far. We saw from their games that they've... Um, you know, the games before this one that they used to get here. They scored a lot of goals. So definitely a threat. We need to be on our top game here. Oh, oh, do you see overlap? Morgan Elliott's through. He's got one defender to beat and he's... Oh, he's been caught up too. You see, he's lost a bit of his legs. Morgan Elliott, now that he's getting older. I feel like the old Morgan Elliott would have made that run easily there. Oh, come on. That was our first, like, threat, really, so far. Offside, ref. Big save, Kowalczyk. How is that not offside? Wow, what a save, Kowalczyk. Kept us in the game. Is Elliot to Wilk? Wilk's over the top. Please be onside. Oh, offside. They play offside. Trap there, Rangers. Boys, we've really not had a sniff this first 27 minutes. Like, hardly even touched the ball. They're playing a possession game so well. Well, in Theon. Oh, just tried to keep that in. I've given it straight back to him. Yeah, they are really playing for possession. Who can he pick out? Promising move. Big tackle, Nacio. Needed that. Needed that. Here's Elliot looking over the top to Lee. In behind Morgan Lee. We've got a man in the middle there. Oh, bad pass over to Vilk. Come on. Wasted possession again. Need to make more of it like Rangers are doing here. Well in. Elliot. Oh, oh no. Ono Masaki! Yes! Ono Masaki! Ono Masaki! Let's go! Let's go! An unlikely first goal scorer in this game. Who had money on him to score first? Not me. I'll tell you that. But let's go! We have hardly touched the ball this whole half. And just a great run there. Ono Masaki coming in late, finding a space, doing that ponytail defender, and a lovely finish from the lad. Yeah? We're sending him out on loan next season, allegedly. But maybe we have to keep him, boys. Come on. Come on. Has Ono Masaki just scored the goal to win us the Europa League? We've got a long way to go. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. But that's a huge goal right there. To score first in a game like this is massive. And oh, Theon Greyjoy, you are beautiful. 
You are beautiful, Theon. Oi, referee. Shit. Out of position now. Big tackle, Anasio. Come on, Anasio. Eh? Come on, Anasio. The type of performances that we need, bro. Switching the play again. Lee. Knock that down. Theon. Getting some rhythm going now. Keeping hold of the ball. Vilk. Elliot. Morgan Elliot. Over the top to Vilk. In behind. A lovely touch. Arthur Vilk to make it two. Hashimoto! Yes! The Japanese Gerard. On a late run into the box again. That's what we teach them in the Blue Lock Academy. Hashimoto and Ono, they're celebrating together there. Brothers from the academy. We teach them in the Blue Lock. Late runs into the box. Get there when you need. Look at the strength from Arthur Vilk to even set that chance up. The left back caught sleeping number 18. Not reacting quick enough. Hashimoto, number 16. Talk about reactions. Let's go. The two Japanese youth stars. What a story that is. Our two youth players from the Japanese academy. With two goals. Oh, in the Europa League final. Let's go. And Hashimoto again. What? We won three. We won three. Oh, no, it's through again. Oh, we found Wilk instead. Boys, let's go. What a first half. What a first half. That's exactly why we needed to start this game. I was nervous. Yeah, Ray, I'm still am nervous. Rangers, look at the possession. 58%. Them guys have been, like, completely playing us off the park in terms of possession. But, ah, oh, let's go. Let's go. Nice switch to the play to Theon there. Theon, definitely been one of the players of the season. Especially in this last, like, second half of the season. He's been so good recently, Theon. Here's Ono linking up with Hashimoto again. A nice ball inside to Vilk. A great turn. Arthur Vilk getting the ball across into the middle. Oh, Elliot was there. Not able to win it, though. Canales winning the ball high up the pitch. Oh, we've really turned it up a gear since that first goal now. The boys are on it. Here's Mina back inside. Hashimoto. A little one into Vilk again. Oh, Vilk's getting closed down as soon as he gets the ball. He's getting closed by like two man. They must have put that in the tactics before the game. As soon as Vilk touches it, just press him. Oh, that's a nice touch from Afina to beat Canales. But look at that recovery from Victor Canales. What a player. I think that's the first time I've ever said his first name as well. <laughs> I don't even know if it is Victor, but I feel like it fits. Yeah, Victor Canales. <laughs> what a player. Oh. Elliot to Ono. Watch this from Ono. Oh, Ono. What a oh, he's offside. Never mind. I was going to say what a pass that was, <laughs> but he's offside. Never mind. A long shot there. Easy save for Kowalczyk. Come on. Can't beat us like that. Especially not with a goalkeeper in form like this one. What a turn from Rebija. Oh, the dribbling's quality. Get that out wide. Here's Ono. Ono inside. What a pass. He's broke through the fence. And Vilk with a cheeky one over the bar. Oh, Arthur Vilk looking to add to his tally. He scored so many in the Europa League this season. And he just can't do it. Substitution time as is here. Big edge from Mina. Oh, look at that. The boys are just active. Morgan Elliott's through on goal now. Elliott, yes! Morgan Elliott, club captain on the score sheet in what could be his last ever game for the club. Let's go. That's a big one. That's, that's, a, that's a heartwarming one right there. Let's go, Elliott. And that might just secure the fact that he's lifting this trophy later on. Let's go. A great assist from Vilk. What a just oh, just what a team. What a team. Yeah. Ignore the loss against Man City in the league and the loss against Man City in the FA Cup. Man City, even them seem to be like a they seem to be a, a, just a different class to us. But just look at the class in this team. Like, oh, are you kidding me? Theon getting pressed now. Oh, come on. It's so good. It's just so good. The team that we have built here over the past five seasons are just insane. Insane. Here's Elliot again. Looking to play through Lee. Is Morgan Lee. He's been quiet. Can he get on the score sheet? Kalen won him. Big save. 15 minutes left to go in this game, boys. And it's looking pretty dead. So Arthur Wilk is going to make his exit off the pitch. Can't add to his goal tally again, unfortunately. But Barbosa will make that appearance. Morgan Elliott is staying on the pitch. I'm leaving everyone on the pitch. They deserve to stay on. Yeah, like and, and just close this game out in the last 15. We've brought on Barbosa, though. Let's see if he can get himself back on the score sheet. Oh, a diving header there. Almost a clash ahead. He was almost out injured again. But here's Ono Masaki now. Looking to use his dribbling. To his advantage. 
<laughs> just feeling ourselves now, just having fun with it. Unlike the last few episodes where I've been shouting and swearing and screaming, like we're just having fun with it now. We're back to our original Dream Chaser ways. Theon playing out of the press so easily. Look at that. And Hashimoto winning the knock on Heather. That's what we need. Oh no. He's got Mina on the overlap. That's quality. That is quality. Oh, Mina's give it away though. Oh, trying to keep the clean sheets intact. What a save, Kavalchik. Let's go. Absolutely swarmed on the edge of the box there. Get out. How has he still got that? I'll never know. Oh, Theon, man of the match performance. Man of the match performance from Theon here. He is absolutely held down the defence. Oh, man of the match is going to be a tough one to give here, though. Because so many people have done so well. And here goes Morgan Lee. Here goes Morgan Lee. To that man, Barbosa. Oh, he's missed it. <laughs> no. Barbosa, bro. Oh, it's going to take some time to, to shake off the rust in those joints, yeah? Get him back into his old school ways. <laughs> I thought that was going to wrap it up with a suey to end the Europa League campaign. That would have been huge. Oh, and there's the final whistle, boys. You've done it. 3-0 victory over Rangers. We are Europa League champions. And my goodness, they deserve it. Oh no, Masaki there celebrating in front of the camera, hugging the boy Theon. Ah, oh, that's going to be a tough one to give player of the, the game to. Player of the season, who do we even give that to? Player of the season, Arthur Wilk, Rebage, Toby Brown, Kowalczyk, even Mina. Like, these players have put in an absolute shift. Canales, some of these players this season, have, they've all played the heart out. Every single one of them has played for the badge, played for the club, absolutely played the heart out. And now we get to see one more time, or well, hopefully not for the last time, but one more time, Morgan Elliott stepping onto that stage with all the boys behind him in that purple and yellow, which a lot of people didn't like, by the way, the purple and yellow. They want purple and blue coming back. Maybe we'll see, see that in the next season. That's why he's for the next episode to see the kits. But for now, let's focus on this season. Morgan Elliott, he gets ready to lift the trophy, and there it is. Europa League champions. Who the fourth? If you told me five seasons ago, in five years' time, you will be Europa League champions, I would have said you are lying. Yeah? Real dream chasers. RDC world, real dreams change the world. Yeah, shout out to Mark and them. But let's go, boys. That's what I'm talking about, yeah? All the, the team we have crafted here, from the Youth Academy players to the players that we've signed from the markers, like, it's just so good. It is just so good. Like, and sometimes I forget who's actually a real player and who's, like, from the Youth Academy. Like, somebody commented on the other, one of the other videos, where'd you get Theon from? And I was like, oh, Theon came from a Youth Academy? This is a Youth Academy prospect, and look at him now. Best left back in the world, if you ask me. Yeah, the fireworks going crazy. The boy's still celebrating, and I'm sure tonight it's going to be a parade in Sama City, yeah. It's a parade in Sama City, yeah. It's a parade inside my city, yeah. It's a parade inside my city, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, in the words of John Morant, an NBA young boy. Oh, no, looking at the camera again. He does that every time he wins a trophy. Oh, no, breaks the fourth wall and looks directly down the camera. But let's go. Let's return to Liverpool. Bring that Europa League trophy back to our city. And like I say, it's a parade inside my city, yeah. <laughs> let's go. Congratulations, Dream Chasers. 3-0 win over Rangers. Oh, what a season, man. What a season it has been. That is huge. We have done the double. Couldn't win the Premier League. But we have won the Europa League and the Carabao Cup. Our trophy cabinet is getting full now. Mark steps up. Cash Money Mark steps up in front of the press. Let's see what they've got to say. Rangers look difficult opponents to be facing the final. Three goal margin of victory tells its own story. There was only ever going to be one winner today. Could you have wished for anything better? The future looks bright. Oh, we, we've grown up as a team. I like that bar. We have grown up as a team because like you've seen, we have kept most of these players from the first season. I mean, that's a lie. The only one who's still here from season one, I think, is Morgan Elliott. But... Yeah, we have grown together, boys. Like, look, we'll see the growth, the actual, like, numerical growth in the next episode. Did you think this double was within your grasp? Always. The harder you work, the luckier you get. That's half a bar as well, but 
that, that's a bar actually. The harder you work, the luckier you get. Because it's not luck, it's work ethic. Yeah, you work for this stuff. Let's see what the, this next question's got to say. Let me go, bro. I want to celebrate with the team. What's with this, this press conference? Yeah, I just want to go and celebrate. How satisfied were you with the overall team's performance? Uh, not very. We played trash. Are you kidding me? I know we can score goals. Get me out of here. I want to go back to the team. Thank you. No more questions. Good night. Yeah, we've got a parade to host. <laughs> Tournament prize money there. 8.6 million for winning the Europa League. That doesn't sound like a lot, actually. Barbosa said, I know I'm not back to 100% yet, but I really pushed myself last game. Really appreciate you picking me. Mate, it's going to take you a little time, but don't rush yourself, Barbosa. You still hold a place at this club and in my heart. Yeah, and the fans, I'm sure you guys in the crowd are going to love seeing him back next season playing regular football. Hopefully, he can get back to his old ways because he did go a bit dodgy there in the last two games we played him. He felt a bit rough and he didn't have his shooting boots. Kowalczyk, I don't know why he looks so funny in that picture there, bro. Dream Chasers win the Europa League. Why is it always Inacio in these pictures, boys? Why is it always him? That was a thumbnail right there. If it weren't Inacio, like, oh. Player of the tournament has been announced as Arthur Vilk. Yeah, I'm going to stop looking at all that stuff, golden boots and stuff. We'll get to that in the next episode when we do the postseason review and all that good stuff. Um, so hopefully you look forward to that. We've actually switched now to the England job. Um, let me go back to um, RDC World. There we go. Yeah, so we must have some international games coming up or something, um, which we will get to eventually sometime. I don't know when, but we will have your. Um, I was going to say Europa League. We don't have Europa League anymore because we're in the Champions League next season. But we will have the Euros and the World Cup with England coming and on a separate thing. I probably might make that like a separate series, maybe like being the England manager, but do it within this career mode. Who knows? Anyway. Ah, oh, boys, yeah, it, I'm going to go and, and join the party downstairs, join the parade that all the boys are having, yeah. Morgan Elliott lifts another trophy, add that to his CV. Stay tuned for the next episode, you do not want to miss it, because we're going to wrap up everything in Season 5, show the growth of the top goal scorers, go on the season compilation, and also start Season 6 to see our budget. I need you to help me out in the comments in that video, who should we sign? Who should we make club captain? But that's in the next video. Hopefully you did enjoy this one though. Like, comment, share, subscribe. You know the vibes. And I will catch us next time for the season five finale. Take it easy. It's a parade in Satma City, yeah.